Today we are playing Stray. What's up, YouTube? I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun. And today we are playing Chapter 6, The Slums Part 2. And this starts us out in Momo's apartment. But I don't see Momo anywhere. But look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, this means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Uh-huh. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Mm, it was an H, I think. Error. Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was a O, or was it a zero? Let's see. Success. It worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. All right, so let's head to the bar. Quickest way there from here is in this bucket. All right, and I'm going to go like as if I'm going to Clementine's, except I'm not going to go to Clementine's. I'm going to just come right down here. Right over here, down here, over here, right there. And look at, there's Momo waiting for me. Hey, little furball, come here. I managed to get a signal. He's so excited. Oh, look, he bumped into that guy. Yeah, it doesn't let you get up there until he invites you. But then he gives you a pat pat. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zabalthazar? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Oof, Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus hasn't been the same since. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Alright, so now we are just going to follow Momo. And I'm going to tell you this in advance. If you don't follow him, if you get ahead, he will stop. It does not make it go faster. He'll, like, stop and start looking for you. But you're also not able to trip him because I have tried. But it's just over this way. I mean, you're just going to follow him all the way down. He's so slow. Come on, come on. Okay, so right here, this is where Seamus lives. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you, I think I have an idea. 
So just follow him over here. And he's going to create a way for you to get in there. Look at that. Crawl space. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Alright, so just go into that crawl space and approach Seamus. What are you doing here? I told you getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Now show him the notebook. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew there's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Alright, so you can see, like, their flat is tiny. So, you can knock all of these pictures down, but this is the one that you want to knock down. Translate it, and it tells you time will tell. Now, what does that mean? Here's a bunch of clocks. Look at that. Two, five, one, one. Knock down this picture. And then let's enter that code. Two, five, one, one. And voila, we made it inside. This one's just for fun. All right, let's go inside now. All right, so he's gonna look for stuff. And I want to go to... I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for this Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive about his work. He told me the weapon he was working on in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. So go ahead and jump on this stool and come up here and knock this box down. And you will see we got something there. So then go ahead and talk to him again. Face him around a little bit. Find anything interesting in here? Show him the broken tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find out where he went. I can't believe my Papa still might be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Okie dokie. Alright, so now to get this fixed, there's a couple things that we have to do. So the first thing is I actually want to come right here. Right up on this pallet and just make your way all the way up. All the way to the very top and you'll see all this green stuff and you'll see this guy. Go ahead and press the buttons that it's telling you to press. And watch what happens. Watch this. Ah! Look what I made him do. But uh oh, now someone's mad. Oops, a doodle. Now, rather than taking blame, we're just going to jump right back down. Right in the stuff, leaving prints. We're going to come in here. And steal some detergent. Got it. Now we want to just take our new detergent and come right back up to the front near Guardian or Gmo. And we're going to come over here to Barterman. And we want to inspect this electrical cable. Hello again. What do you want now? This is a set of electrical cable. The best off the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Give him the detergent, and he'll give you the cables. And now we want to make our way back past Doofer's Bar. And we want to go back and see Grandma. Because Grandma's going to give us something for these cables. Hello, little one. Do you have an electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. So go ahead and trade her the cable, and she's going to make you a poncho. New item gain. There you go, little one. That'll suit you well. Now, while you're here, go ahead and uh, nuzzle 
grandma. Oh. All right, so now we want to come right over here to Elliot's programming and scratch this door. And let's go inside. And we're going to go up these stairs and up these stairs and we are going to find this trembling little robot. Yes, can I help you? Let's give him the poncho first. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. If you choose the other option, he tells you that he can't help you because he's too cold. Otherwise, he would. Thanks for the poncho. Please see me if you ever need anything fixed. Well, since you brought it up. Oh, wow. That's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tomio BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update. One more thing and voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. All right. And that's as easy as that, guys. I also wanted to show you that he's got a rug. And this is another way in and out of Elliot's. You can come through this way. It's not that much faster, but you know. All right, so now we actually want to come back over to Seamus's. Oh, here's the robot you can trip. Oh, I didn't mean to make him fall in his face. Whoops. And this time, Seamus will have the door open for you. Did you manage to fix that tracker? You did. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. All right. Let's follow him to the next chapter. She's still really mad. But she doesn't blame you. She blames the one who dropped it. Oh, and another thing. Um, in Chapter 4, I had said before we were doing the uh, memories that it was the la almost the last thing. And I didn't get to the last thing. But the last thing was just nuzzling on these guys, which can easily be done here. There's seven different robots that you want to nuzzle. And they, it doesn't matter which ones. As long as you get seven of them throughout the whole game. But I just wanted to show there's like four different ones you can nuzzle here, at least that I know of. Anyway, continuing on. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. You guys ready for this? He's about to open this door. I'm surprised that it's not like harder to get through. It looks gross outside. He's so paranoid. He's so scared, man. Look at these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it, and he will know that you are a friend. I'll open the door for you. All right. One last thing before we go. To the left. Is one last memory. Go ahead and grab that real fast. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and Midtown. 
Yeah, and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. All right, boys and girls, that is where chapter six ends and chapter seven starts right here. So I, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to punch that bell square in the face so you don't miss next episode. This is KK Jinx, over and out.